Hello everyone and welcome back to Cool Gadgets. Today we'll be reviewing the Vulcan 700 power station, the power box that's leading the charge. I'm Shannon and I'm here to break down if this product has watts to spare or if it's just running on empty. So let's get into it. So here we are with the Vulcan 700. Vulcan has made a few other power stations before, with the 700 being their latest model. The 700 in the product name is referring to the AC output power, which is 700 watts, uh, with a max output of 1400 watts. So for those of you who maybe aren't sure what kind of specs you should be looking for with this kind of product, max AC output refers to the maximum power that can be delivered by the product. The higher the max AC output, the more products you can plug in at the same time. A higher max output means that you can also use more energy consuming products compared to a product with a lower output. So just for reference, a phone charger has a wattage of 5 to 25 watts. A laptop charger somewhere between 45 and 100 watts. A TV will have anywhere between 100 to 500 watts. And some products like hair dryers will have a wattage of up to 800 watts. So with the exception of hair dryers, you can definitely power the gamut of conventional household and camping electronics with this Vulcan 700. So now let's take a look at some of the other specs. There's actually nine ports here. There's two DC outputs, one car output, two USB-CC, and two USB-CA. And when we turn it around to the back, there's actually more. On the back we have two AC outputs, as well as two DC and PV inputs. So this should enable a lot of different setups, as the different outputs will be able to accommodate and power a diverse set of electronics. And as for the weight, this power station weighs 13 pounds. So if you don't do regular strength training, you'll probably need two hands to carry this. So to charge the Vulcan 700, you can use the adapter to charge with either a conventional power or a solar power. As for how long you can power your devices, Vulcan 700 has a capacity of 500 watt hours. So that will power say, a 100 watt TV screen for up to five hours. When you need to charge up the Vulcan 700, it only takes about one hour and 20 minutes to reach max power. And it can be charged with the AC adapter. And so that means that when you need to charge the Vulcan 700 in a hurry, you really only just need an hour. And that's always a really good thing when you don't need a lot of time. But you can also charge with solar while you're out camping and that only takes about two and a half hours. Oh, and also there's a car charger port. So if you don't have enough time to charge the Vulcan at home, you can give it some extra juice in the car while you're taking it on the go. So now we have some electronics plugged in. This power station does have a fan, so it will make a bit of noise from time to time. But here we have the display, which shows you how much power is left in the battery, the current output, how much longer it can supply power, and the status of different power sockets. So yeah, it does work as advertised, and my electronics are juiced up and everything is working just fine. So, what did I think? Well, this is the third power station that we've reviewed on this channel so far. And I think it's appropriate because it does kind of land somewhere in the middle of the other two products that we've reviewed. We've reviewed a huge industrial-sized power station used for things like welding, and we've also reviewed a smaller, quiet, and highly portable power station. And if I had to say so myself, I think Vulcan is a good compromise between the two products. It's 13 pounds, which I would say is pretty much the top end of what you can still call a portable power station. But the AC 700 watt output and the 1400 max watt output are good not just for powering things like phone chargers and camping lights, but also household electronics where you can deal with powering things at home. And it will be able to power those products for five hours or so which isn't forever, mind you, but still long enough to deal with the most temporary power outages, for example. So if you're in the market for a power station that's versatile, portable, and modern, then I would recommend the Vulcan 700 for sure. All right, you guys. Well, like I said, this was the Vulcan 700, and you can find the link in the description down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Until next time, I'm Shannon, and I'll see you guys later.